Greetings, participants. In a materialistic world, mortals like yourselves have feelings, goals, and desires. It is a very valuable trait as this can lead to happiness, trust, and loyalty from others around you. It can also lead to destruction, war, and eventually death. Therefore, the question for the day is, what do your desires say about you? Robin, you're walking through the woods. You come across a celebration where people of all shapes and sizes gather to dance, sing, and be merry for the evening. They are celebrating a compromise, a peace treaty between man and beast. This particular beast, you can see, includes the wolf clan that destroyed your home and ruined your life. None of them know you are there, thus giving you an opportunity to assassinate the clan's alpha. However, if you were to take that chance, the party would abruptly end, and so will the peace between man and beast. What do you do? In this scenario, Robin will do the following. Fully aware that his decision may cause long-term damage, Robin will lie in wait to get the Alpha on her own, and as soon as she is on her own, he will take his silver dagger and assassinate her. Once she's dead, he would cast Pass Without Trace on himself to ensure he can't be followed, drag the body through the woods, and drop it in a river. He understands that this will cause long-term damage for the peace treaty that appears to have been struck between the men and the beasts, but he does not care. As far as he's concerned, all of those beasts that they struck the deal with are vicious monsters, and they would betray the men that they made the deal with the first chance that they got. Robin, you have chosen revenge. Clinging on to your grudge against the wolf clan, you assassinate the Alpha Wolf. You manage to bring the body away from the party and, and, and slip away into the night before anyone notices you. The rest of the Alpha's pack quickly catches wind of her death and quickly turn the blame on man. This sparks a war between man and beast, leading to more destruction between villages and forests, a war that will last another generation. You are now allowed to ask one question that we are obligated to answer. My question is, who is the person I'm speaking to right now? Before we answer your question, it is imperative for you to understand that there is more to the universe than one's mind can comprehend. We are no one. We have no name. And yet we are everywhere and everyone. We are beings beyond your world, beyond your fellow players' worlds, and I am their voice. If it would make you more comfortable, you are more than welcome to give us a name 